best gear is the gear you have on you. And what is up, guys? It's your average gear reviewer here, back again with another quick little unboxing for you and another cup of coffee. So, yeah, guys, today we have something really cool from a company called Vizmix. And uh, this is going to be, it's a three-stage belt. So what it is, is that's an inner belt that you can use for everyday wear. You can wear through the belt loops of your jeans. And then it is a gun belt that actually Velcros over the top of that. Um, it's part of what's called this sort of a core belt system. So we're going to check this out today. And it also has, um, this is one I believe that it did have a uh, comfort pad in there with it as well. So I've really been wanting to get one of these. I've heard a couple of guys talking about how useful these really can be. Um, and one of the neatest things about it is how you can just sort of Velcro your gun belt on the top of it and then the gun belt latches together and it makes a really, really solid system. It's supposed to, you know, eliminates a lot of wiggle and movement around. If you've ever worn a bigger gun belt, a larger belt style uh, with any equipment on it, you know that those can really move around on you a lot. So this supposedly eliminates a lot of that. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into that. And as always, guys, I don't want to forget to say it. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thank you so much for stopping by to watch it. I really appreciate it. I love having you guys along with me to unbox this stuff and just share in the discovery of new tools and new EDC and just ways to expand and improve on our EDC gear. If you're a returning viewer, hey, thanks so much for coming back, guys. It means the world to me that you come back to watch the videos. It, the comments that you leave down below. I love it, guys. Keep interacting with me. So without further ado, let's get into it. And of course, uh, if we need it, we're going to use our Dimco Armager 2, the unboxing buddy. We'll use this little joker if we need to. Um, okay, so we do have a little piece of tape here. And what's on the inside? What's in the box? Okay, a lot of plastic. So Guys, let me know in the comments down below, before we even get into this, are you familiar with a core belt type um, setup? Where you have an sort of like an inner and an outer belt? Because that's basically what this is. It's the Vim 6. Wait, is it Vim 6 or Vizmix? Okay, well, the box... Okay. Well, the box says Vizmix and this says Vimsix. So I think maybe this is a misprint here. Let's just get rid of that evidence there. Because it says Vizmix here. So, I, yeah, I'm assuming. And it looks like we've got some troll candy. All right, we got some zip ties here. So uh, let's see how the unboxing buddy does on some zip ties. Oh, yeah. Right through it. But yeah, guys, if you don't have the uh, Dimco Armature 2, make sure you get one of these. It's, it will be your in unboxing buddy, I promise you. And as you know, guys, we are a proud Dimco affiliate. So, you know, if you do purchase something through our link, it does help the channel out. So there is there is that to consider. And it looks like you might have to do a little more work here to take this off. Nope, that's just a pop. Okay, and what does this say? The Vizmix. Our service. Let's see, one year warranty, customer service within 24 hours, and then there's their contact information. Okay. We're never going to look at it again. So this, um, it, it's not just an inner and outer core system on this one. It actually does have, um, let's get it unraveled here a little bit so we can see. Um, okay, yeah, they really got it packed in there. Okay, so this, this piece that's currently on the inside here, uh, is the comfort pad so this one like I said it's a three belt system where it has your uh, it has a core inner belt which is this one and then it has the outer belt that will uh, velcro to the outside of this one this one is an additional belt that this one comes with uh, some of them well most of the ones that I looked at don't come with this uh, comfort pad so uh, not really super interested in in looking at that right now um, it may be something down the road, you know, if you're going to wear it to the range, maybe throw the comfort pad on. Um, the thing to me is it seems like it would be super modular in that 
if I can get this out of here. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm going to set this off to the side right now. Um, but this is your inner core belt here. And so what you do is you just wear this like a standard belt. You put it on underneath your belt loops. And uh, you'll notice on the outside, it does have the Velcro hook. It's the whole surface of it is covered in the Velcro hook. So what that allows you to do is you can wear this under your belt loops. And then when you need it, you can actually put this outer belt onto it. And then it has a, it has some securing mechanisms here. Let's just get that off. If you could only see the mess over there to the side of the desk, it's funny. I have to just zip through this part so you guys don't have to sit through it. There we go. So yeah, you can see the... Uh, you can't really see anything, Katie, because there's too much stuff in the way. Okay, so um, maybe you can see it now. This belt is your outer system. And you can see it's got attachment slots here for, uh, you know, molly attachments for attaching your gear. It's got a nice little pull here. And then it's going to buckle, sort of like a cam buckle there. A little quick release buckle. So what you would do, what it allows you to do is you can just throw this on over the top of this belt. In theory, that's how it works. Um, and, and we're going to find out here in a minute because I'm going to try it out. Um, I've really been wanting to try out this system for a long time. And uh, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's do an on-body look at it. And uh, I'm going to swap out my belts here and we'll see how this works over the top of that. So we'll be right back with you. Okay, so guys, we're going to uh, try out the uh, new Bismix tactical belt. And uh, first, I'm going to take off the Fairwind. So uh, what I normally wear is the Fairwind tactical belt. It is a ratcheting type EDC belt. Really good. Um, it, to me, it's a fine line between rigidity and uh, softness and flexibility. And I, I've had it for a couple of years, never had any issues with it. Other than it is starting to show a little bit of where, where is it? Right here where uh, my holster will rub against it. But really that's the only issue that I've had with it whatsoever. So um, yeah, let's try this one. And I think that it, okay, yeah. So it's just going to thread through your belt loops like normal. Now this one's a 1.75 inch. Um, so it's an inch and three quarters where they did have some that were just an uh, inch and a half. So if you want one that's going to be more of, uh, you know, that conventional belt size, you could always opt for the uh, inch and a half version. And it's a little bit stiff, but, you know, it's brand new. So, okay. And so then what you do is you just Velcro it there, which I like that. Um, it's got a good solid feel to it. It feels, uh, you know, it feels just as good as the uh, belt did, as the Fairwind Tactical belt did. And I like the fact that it has the texture on the outside. So then what you can do, and I'll have to adjust this, I'm sure, because it's not probably not set up perfectly for my size. I wouldn't imagine that it would be, and that would be wild if it was. But what, what you do is... The uh, Velcro on the outside then allows you to set this belt on top of that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And I can tell that it is very solid there, but like I said, I will definitely have to adjust that. So let's see how hard that is to do. You know, you, you never know how hard it is to adjust them until you try. And I'm sure you guys will be seeing this belt later on in the uh, pocket dump. You could pretty much count on that. Yeah, that's one thing I could see about this, though, is you're going to have to get it just right before you put it on. So it'll have to be at just the right length before you be able to snap that. 
Okay. Wow, it's just barely long enough. Now I'm sure I could probably adjust it a little bit more. Um, once I get it, you know, once I can get it all set up right. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. And it does it just Velcros to it right over your belt loops. So um, you can see how then this would allow you to attach different, you know, like you put your holster over here, mags over here on this side. So this is your gun belt. But just walking around every day, when you don't need it, you just have your regular belt on. Um, the one thing that I did want to check, because this one's an important one to me, maybe not to anybody else, but uh, hold on, just. Okay guys, so what, did I, what I wanted to check, um, I've got my G2C here and I just want to make sure that everybody can see that it is unloaded there. And then we are going to go ahead and flip it over to safe just so we can be sure. What I wanted to see is uh, how well or if my gun and flower holster is going to work over that because it's a little bit thicker of a belt. But man, it seems like it fits in there really securely. Uh, yeah, I like that. And it, uh, it does seem to hold up just fine on the belt there. So I'm really happy to see that. That was one of my big questions was uh, how well and how sturdy this inner belt was going to be. Um, you know, with that appendix concealed carry, but it seems to work just perfectly, guys. So, yeah, I am super impressed with it so far. Um, you know, I'm kind of thinking that if you're going to put your battle belt on, you would probably take off your concealed carry, and then, of course, you would probably have a, uh, you know, you would have some more, uh, a larger gun holster and, uh, you know, a, another firearm on this one because you know this is going to be your your sort of your combat system there there's molly hey molly hey molly but yeah i might should have got a little bit bigger size uh the belt is just a little bit but i don't, I don't know if i have this one really tightened enough um, that's one thing I like about the ratcheting belt system is it allows you to kind of incrementally tighten it so you can get it just right. Um, but this one, once you get it where you need it, it, it actually works just fine. Um, and again, it's going to be a lot of fine tuning, like with any gun belt process, as you guys know, um, or may not know if you've, if you've done it before, done a lot of, uh, setting up stuff like that. It takes a lot of fine tuning and, and you got to use it and wear it. And really see what works for you and what doesn't but even just in a couple of little minutes there I've got this where I could use it if I had to you know I definitely could just throw it on over this belt and uh, be ready to rock and roll I don't have a really cool setup to put on here yet to show you guys but I'm working on it um, but you know I mainly wanted to start off with that core belt system and uh, sort of build on it from there So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you are rocking any kind of uh, core belt system and if you are, what kinds you use and uh, how you like it, what your experience has been with it. It's something that's brand new for me. I know there's uh, several you know, manufacturers that are making these same type of belts. Um, again, it's sort of like the Karambit situation in the Karambit video that I just did. I'm kind of you know testing out a proof of concept first before before I really um, commit to this it. belt wasn't tremendously expensive so I thought it was a good starter uh, a good starter you know sort of entry level into that and it was also one of the only ones that came with the uh, comfort pad just uh, included with it but I, I picked it up on Amazon I will definitely leave a link in the description down below and uh, while you're down there looking at that guys leave a like on the video if you like the content um, consider subscribing you know, if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest EDC gear, if you just want to follow me in my personal uh, rabbit hole, I'm going down here with the EDC world, you know, please subscribe. It, it, 
it's free of charge. We've decided to make them free, uh, you know, at least until we hit a thousand. So guys, hop on that while you can. Also, we do have our big 500 subscriber giveaway, and we're gonna have a lot of cool prizes to give away in that. So um, I hope you guys can join us for that live stream. I've got a big announcement coming up really soon about that. And uh, like I said in the last video, guys, I promise. I am working super hard. I just want to provide the best giveaway for you guys that I can as my way of saying thank you so much for watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. If you've watched all the way to the end, real quick, brother, bump that like button down there. Just give it a little love tap and uh, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you know when that big 500 subscriber giveaway is coming up. Got some stuff in there from Demco. Got some stuff from Flatanium. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to give it all away yet, but, uh, yeah, I think you want to, I, I think you want to go ahead and, uh, and hit that button down there. <laughs> anyway, guys, as I always say, always be caring and remember the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer. I'm out of here. Okay, guys, I, I just wanted to hop back in with you really quick. And one of the reasons I was looking at really looking at that core belt system because of the Velcro that it had on the outside was I watched uh, Ed Calderon's pocket dump and he carried his tourniquet down the leg of his pants. And when I saw that these had Velcro on the outside and that the back of this was Velcro, it got me thinking that I wonder if you could actually wear the tourniquet on your belt and so I just wanted to check really quick and see if that would actually work um, because I think that would be super cool and I thought maybe if I could tuck it under the belt buckle here let's see yeah it's a little large to go through that belt buckle so it may not work with the belt in there it seems like the belt buckle is just not quite big enough to get the buckle of this through but uh, let's see, could you still, you actually can still Velcro that though, which that's cool. Okay. So yeah, this actually could be Velcro. Hey, how cool is that guys? So you actually could wear your tourniquet, um, maybe inside the pocket here and Velcro to the belt. I really wish that I could get this buckle to go through because it would be just perfect if I could. If this buckle would just go through this belt loop right here, it would hold there perfectly. But maybe, uh, maybe a band, maybe a rubber band system or something around the belt. You know, I was just trying to come up with a uh, a really low profile way of carrying your tourniquet. And so, since this three belt system's got the Velcro on the outside, I thought, man, that would be super cool if you could actually put your tourniquet on the outside of the belt. If you needed it, you know, you can just rip it off, and there it is. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think about that down below. I know that probably sounds crazy, but uh, anyway, yeah, uh, Average Gear Reviewer, I'm, I'm really out of here this time. The best gear is the gear you have on you.